I'm Paul Boggs at Plasma Technics, and I'm going to demonstrate how to program a desired power set point into a DAT210 circuit board. I have taken the unit out of auto tune mode and put it into semi auto mode. By removing the jumper closest to these large capacitors located over here. I've also adjusted my power set point using the T1 voltage potentiometer located here on the left of this set. Now it's time to program this set point. With the unit running and in semi-auto mode, you will program the unit to your desired power set point by pressing the OPOK button located here on the left of these two buttons. A quick press and hold will give you tolerance band of 40 percent. Three LEDs lit up before releasing this button and then the LEDs started to alternate and I can do the same thing again and go into 20 percent. The next tolerance band is 10%. For this demonstration, I will use 20%. To program the set point, once you have your tolerance band selected, press and hold. Those three LEDs will light up. Two more red LEDs will light up on top, like so. Release. All LEDs will light up. A few LEDs will wink at you and that will show you that it's responding to your power set point programming and it's also letting you know that it's been successful. Finally, place the unit into auto tune mode by putting the jumper back closest to the capacitors. Starting your unit and the lock light blinks quickly stays on solid and indicates an auto-tune mode. That will conclude the programming of a DAT210 circuit board for power set point. An important update for new version 3.1 firmware. We have a new LED pattern that indicates that a flash in low PDM percentage did not take. Meaning that if you tried to set your power point Use the OPOK -OK button routine as shown in earlier in this video. The unit actually will not take that power set point in low PDM. So let us demonstrate that. In previous versions, this was not the case. The unit would give you an indication that the unit actually had flashed and set its program set point. The indication would be there, but in fact it did not set a power point. So this is your feedback routine. Set our tolerance band. Press down the button. Go through our flash procedure. And there's your feedback. Strobing from bottom to top. LEDs. The faulted LED will not light up during this routine. We'll do it one more time. It's a pretty quick pattern there. and there's your routine again. So that indicates that the program did not take at 50% PDM, which is what I'm simulating here. You can force the unit into 100% PDM by turning off switch one. The unit will now go into 100% PDM and you can run through a normal flash routine. And once finished with that, go back to your original PDM percentage setting by turning switch back one back on. That will conclude this update to version 3.1 DAT210 set PowerPoint.